Welcome to the homework for lesson 20. This is module 5 of grade 3. Write your name here first, please. And it says label the shaded fraction. Draw two different representations of the same fractional amount. So how many pieces are there? There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven equal pieces. Three of them are shaded, so it's three sevenths. And now I need to draw three-sevenths two other ways. One, two, three, four, five, and now I gotta fix this end a little bit. One, two, three, four, five, mostly equal parts. There's a sixth and a seventh. And I'm going to shade in three of those, two, three. Any three of them will do. And then I can make a different rectangle like that. And chop this up into sevenths. One, two, three, four, five. Need one more seventh. There, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I need to shade in three of those. How about that one there? And this one in the middle. And this one here in the end. That's also three sevenths. These two shapes both show four fifths. One, two, three, four, five. Four of them are shaded. And one, two, three, four, five. Four of those are shaded. Are the shapes equivalent? Why or why not? Now the thing about equivalent fractions is the holes have to be the same size. They don't have to be the same shape. They have to be the same size. And so each fifth here, these look a lot different. And it looks like these fifths are a lot bigger than the ones in the L-shaped figure. So let's say that they are not equivalent. And the word equivalent is right there. This is how you spell it. They are not equivalent. So we can zoom in a little bit more here because they are different sized holes. Draw two different representations of four-fifths that are equivalent. So you could do it like this. Do like two sort of tape diagrams. And as long as you make your fifths in the same place, you get them mostly the same. And you try and you want to get them. I have one, two, three, four. Okay, there's four fifths. So let me make a little bit of an adjustment. Because it matters that these, especially for this kind of a question, it matters that these look like they're kind of the same. And then I have one of these. And let me make another little adjustment here. That this one here is a little too tall. Because that's going to matter too. If you just want to try and get them there, now they look pretty close. And so they both have to be four fifths. So it's just, I'm just going to shade in one, two. I'm going to leave the middle one unshaded, three, four. And for this one here, I'm just going to leave the second one unshaded, second from the left. And so now here we go. They're equivalent. They're about the same size, as much as I could draw them that way. Uh, and they both have four, four equal parts shaded. 
Diana ran a quarter mile straight down the street. Becky ran a quarter mile on a track. Who ran more? <laughs> this reminds me of an old joke. What weighs more, a ton of feathers or a ton of bricks? They both ran quarter mile so they ran equal distance doesn't matter that one was on a track or one was in a straight line oh and that's it